This is a transmit test of the Phoenix uh, 612 uh, board that uh, we created. What I'll be doing, I'll be testing out the power output as well as the uh, power meter and SWR. I have repurposed the Park uh, SIGGEN uh, into a controller for the radio and uh, this is used to control the various uh, oscillator frequencies for the uh, uh, SA612s as well as display the uh, S meter and power and uh, SWR readings. I've got the output from the Phoenix board connected to my signal and spectrum analyzer. There is a 40 dB in line attenuator and I am sweeping frequencies between 3 megahertz and 90 uh, megahertz uh, to display the uh, power output that's coming out as, as well as uh, look at the spectral purity of the signal from the Phoenix 612 board. So I've got it set up right now for 10 meters. As you can see it's showing SWR of 1 and showing one bar, one bar showing that it's uh, 1 watt of power and the spectrum analyzer is showing that it's approximately uh, 33 uh, dBm of power output and my highest harmonic is minus uh, 12 dBm so that's well within the Canadian regulation of minus 44 dB down from the fundamental. It's now configured for a 15 meter band and go ahead and uh, hit the push to talk. So again it's transmitting showing SWR of 1 and uh, 1 bar showing uh, 1 watt coming out and my spectrum is showing that it's uh, 32 dBm output and uh, there's still little peaks there but there's nothing significant so it's uh, well within the Canadian regulations. So it's now configured for the 20 meter band. And I'm going to go, go ahead and hit the push to talk. And uh, it's putting out approximately 2 watts with an SWR of uh, 1.0. And my spectrum is showing it's around. Uh, minus or, or plus 35 dBm uh, output and there is some uh, that 12 megahertz uh, that's the uh, uh, IF frequency and it's about um, it's around minus 7 minus 8 dB down so it's it's very close to being legal within the limits and I could easily tune that by adjusting the mic gain uh, and or the RF power to make it 100% uh, legal. It's not configured for 40 meters. It's going to hit the push to talk. So it's showing 5 watts output SWR uh, 1.0 which I would expect because it's connected to a 50 ohm terminator on the spectrum analyzer. And the spectrum analyzer showing uh, about uh, just over 37 dBm output and it, there is a harmonic at 14 megahertz but it's down minus 12 so that's uh, well within the uh, Canadian regulations. It's not configured for 80 meters I had to crank down the uh, RF gain for the power output to make it uh, legal it was uh, putting out uh, too much power but it was uh, a lot of uh, garbage coming out so I'm transmitting it's coming out about uh, 3 watts SWR 1.0 and I'm um, putting out uh, 35, uh, 36 uh, dBm and there's a harmonic that's down about minus 8, minus 9 uh, uh, DBM so that is uh, completely legal uh, in Canada.
The antenna is now connected to a 100 ohm uh, load and let's check what the SWR should be. I think it should be around uh, 2. So we're getting SWR about 1.7 which is a little bit low but heck that's not bad. It's uh, it's uh, close to uh, SWR of 2.